Hey everyone, it's me, John. Welcome to another edition of Johnny Vlogs, and Happy New Year! Um, I just wanted to shoot an episode here where I talk about something I put out in the last episode of Brain Scratch. I mentioned the possibility of doing another series um, and basing it on missing persons cases. And the response from you guys has been very, very clear. This seems like a show that a lot of people are interested in and I think can really help fill a gap. And um, let me just tell you, I'm, I'm just coming off a phone call with a relative of Brandon Lawson. And um, in terms of the Brandon Lawson case and even reaching back to the um, Alyssa Turney case, there's something that has struck me about media coverage on these missing person cases. Even if you get big time media coverage, which we can say definitely happened in the Alyssa Attorney case, um, it seems like it is a quick flash and then it just disappears. And I believe that is why a show, um, particularly on YouTube's format, can help fill in a big crack where these follies, these stories just fall into and just get completely forgotten about. In the Brandon Lawson case, it's different because they didn't quite get even that initial big splash of uh, media coverage. Apparently, uh, local news ran a couple of small segments on it, and that was about as big as it got um, for Brandon. And once again, thank you to all you Brain Scratch fans that suggested that I take a look at that case because, um, especially now after speaking to a relative of his, uh, it seems like that coverage is very valuable and um, can possibly help, if nothing else, help keep the awareness raised around these cases, help get that image out there a bit more, um, help maybe get some new ideas about what happened out there, um, which was always a focus of Brain Scratch, but we're definitely going to tailor this into this new show and I need a little help from you guys so first of all um, I'm considering titles I really don't know what to call it I I would like to keep it branded as brain scratch but in terms of how much title you can write into YouTube's um, section for that I think it would be too much to call it like you know brain scratch missing persons unit or, or something uh, like that which was actually a suggestion from a fan um, so I think we might drop the brain scratch branding and just call it something else completely different. Right now, I'm kind of leaning towards missing mysteries, um, but I'm really curious to hear if you guys have any other feedback on potential titles for it. And if you do want to really help with that, do me a favor, um, before you suggest the title, just do a quick search on YouTube and Google and see if the title that you're suggesting has already been used for another show. Because um, if it's been used for another show, I probably don't want to use that title for this new one. I want it to be something that is easily searchable, memorable, so that people can go, what was the name? Oh, that's right, Missing Mysteries or whatever it is. Um, so, Or let me know if you think Missing Mysteries is a hit. I've already done a search in terms of YouTube and Google on that, and it does not seem to be used at least in the type of show format that I'm now considering. So I think it might be a decent choice, but let me know what you think. Um, also just wanted to talk to you about the format of it a little bit. It's going to be a bit more like, um, if you remember those mini scratches I did, it's going to be like that. I'm going to try to keep it to a 10 to 15 minute format, um, essentially getting out the basics of the case, um, all the critical information, the person's vital statistics, um, last known location, last known clothing, any uh, issues that happened around their disappearance or any facts that came out about their disappearance, and then um, provide some contact information for uh, if you guys have any tips or um, info to provide to the authorities. We'll have direct contact information at the end of each episode. So that's the format I'm considering. So um, basically like a very leaned down version of that last brain scratch I did on Brandon Lawson. Imagine that it was just, you know, like the first 10 or 15 minutes of it. Very basic uh, information. That being said, if the case um, requires more detail than that, I can always bump it over into brain scratch territory and do a full um, brain scratch episode where we can really dive into the details and talk about different theories and all that good stuff. So know that this will basically be a tool to get exposure to stories that maybe don't have um, a lot of additional detail. Maybe they're very simple 
um, basic kind of missing persons cases that are just falling through the cracks and we want to keep the awareness raised to it. Uh, also, I plan on it being international. I'm not going to lock it down just to the U.S. Obviously, um, I've looked at the statistics and my audience is worldwide, so I'd be willing to cover any case. And I've, I'm already getting a bunch of great suggestions in the comments section um, for that last Brain Scratch episode. Please feel free to comment further suggestions as this new show gets off the ground. So I am hoping to have the first episode next week, and that's going to shift my delivery schedule a little bit. Um, quite honestly, these Johnny vlogs always get released really late on Monday, so I think I'm just going to formalize that to Tuesday. So starting next week, Johnny vlogs will be released on Tuesday. Um, I believe this new mystery show will be released on Wednesday. Thursday you'll still get your Geek and Dorks review, which I'm now going to focus those more on mystery content, um, Actually, this week I'm going to be covering a great Netflix show that also falls into that vein. And then Friday, the good old usual brain scratch. And I'm going to try that out. It's going to be a bit hectic, especially the first couple weeks, till I kind of get myself paced with kicking out four shows a week. But um, other YouTubers do it, so I'm going to give it a, a good go. And of course, with all your wonderful support, I know I can make it happen. Please keep those comments coming. I really love it whenever I get a good supportive comment from you guys about uh, you enjoying the content on the channel. And honestly, I really hope that this new uh, mystery, Missing Mysteries show really um, helps. Uh, after talking to um, you know a few relatives in these cases now, uh, they definitely seem to appreciate the attention from uh, the case being re-exposed. Um, they also really seem to appreciate my approach in terms of how I discuss these cases. So of course I'm going to keep that on point. And it's weird, but in I had someone ask me in a comment, John, why do you do this kind of stuff? Like, have you gone through some tragedy where someone has gone missing in your life? And I haven't, thankfully. I have not. And I really kind of thought about it for a while. What is it about these that attract me and make me want to create content like this and ultimately it boils down to um, the ability to help people especially now that I've kind of got this platform I got a good number of viewers I've got a lot of great brains out there that are kicking back information and sharing this on all of your social media networks and stuff um, I really feel like there is good value and it's only getting better the more people um, that come into the fold in terms of my channel um, there's just something about helping these people. If nothing else, just to listen and give them a chance to talk about how they're feeling or what they're thinking about uh, their missing loved one. And I especially resonate strongly with that after today's talk. Um, I, I just, there's something in me that in a strange way, I know it sounds kind of dark, but it feels good to help the survivors of these situations. There's, there's just this little internal light that I get um, like I really felt it, especially towards the end of uh, today's phone call. It just, you know, these people have gone through tragedy and anything I can do to help lighten that load for them a little bit sure seems pretty important to me. And I think it's important to a lot of you too. So thank you all for all of the very sudden and uh, loud feedback on that. That show is coming next week. And there are other, some, some other things for 2016. I don't want to um, let the cart get run away, run or have the horses run away with the cart. So I'm going to keep some of it under wraps, but I do want to keep growing. Um, I think at some point I'm going to put out an official request for maybe some partners to help join me in creating um, brain scratch content or brain scratch related content. Um, I, I know there's a lot of people that have offered it before. I haven't quite taken you up on it yet. I just need to figure out the right mechanics for how that's all going to work and make sure that I can keep people interested and invested in helping um, Brain Scratch grow and the whole Geek and Dorks channel grow. So I'm working on that. Plans for that um, should be coming out a bit later this year. Um, one thing I will drop, I'm really, really heavily considering doing some type of podcast. And I think I'd really like to do that with a partner. Um, so... And I've got a couple people in mind that have already talked to me about that, but um, I will look into that a bit more um, as the year rolls on. But for right now, I'm going to get this new show off the ground. So please, give me your feedback. Any great titles, any input you have on the format, 
Um, have you seen shows like that before? Let me know about them so I can take a look at those, see how they're structured, how well they do. Um, there's definitely a bit of a, a thing where I know I'm going to present them a little bit more as a traditional YouTube mystery segment um, because there needs to be at least some type of, it's weird to say entertainment, but there has to be some little entertainment kick. Um, I, I don't think, based on the videos I've seen, it's not enough to show pictures and have the contact information. There has to be some element of storytelling. It could be facts, but it has to be kind of spelled out in a storytelling fashion so that people will be attracted to that type of content, hopefully week after week after week. So that's kind of the balance I'm looking to strike in the current struggle I'm, I'm dealing with. So big plans for 2016. Um, I've got really big plans coming up in the middle of the year, but a little too early to spill those yet. What about you guys? Are you doing anything big this year? Tell me about it in the comments below, outside of all your input on the Missing Mysteries show. Um, I will be sure to check it all out. And thank you so much for supporting the channel. 2015 was awesome, and I feel like 2016 is going to be even better yet. I hope yours is too. I'll catch you on the next show on the Geek and Dorks channel. Take care, everyone.